Des Moines is often listed as a top place in the country to live, but one nonprofit advocacy group says it has been rated one of the worst cities for African Americans. KCCI's Cynthia Fodor shows us how Blueprint for Action aims to level the playing field. It is being called a tale of two cities. In Polk County, a new report highlights the racial divide. Despite undeniable progress, black people living in the United States are not yet equal. And two, on nearly every measure of progress or success, blacks fall short of our white counterpoints. The Director's Council reports the median household income in Polk County is about $64,000. For Black or African Americans, it's practically half that, about $34,000. So if you start with $33,000 a year and you're spending a third of that on your housing, you're left with um, about, you know, 20 some odd thousand dollars. And so it just continues to dwindle. When it comes to health, African Americans make up 4% of the population in Iowa, but have 10% of COVID cases. In schools, black children make up 10% of students with a suspension rate of 35%. And TDC also reports black people in Des Moines are denied loans twice as often. This group has been working for six years to compile the data and set out a plan for change in five areas, housing, education, employment, health care, and financial inclusion. There's a lot of work to do. And, uh, you know, we are, if we don't invest the time in the, in the energy like we are now, we're going to continue to perpetuate this cycle. Um, the group is asking every bank, local rent, business, uh, and individual to join in to help create one economy. Cynthia Fodor, KCCIA News, Iowa's News Leader.